We were really focused on real world use cases where we could find massive amounts of value being created by people being able to deploy devices at scale and getting paid to do that, i.e. pushing costs to the edge of the network and sort of allowing the network to grow organically on its own. We are really, really thesis driven at EV3. Like our focus at the end of the day is to find three to four core ideas that we find about the world to be true and dig really deep into them. And one of them that sort of led us to find Helium and then led us to find MachineFi was this real belief that people at scale can be doing a lot more and earning a lot more through contributing in ways that don't actually require any additional action or behavior, but just require additional technology, i.e. the machine world starting to interact with the real world a little bit. And to the extent that you could create that at scale with just people doing nothing new, living their lives, like that's an amazing unlock as far as we can tell. So we were kind of pursuing ideas in that framework. You know, Helium, as I mentioned, was a pretty visceral one for us because it proved that, you know, this concept had product market fit and could scale reasonably significantly. So going down this path of like understanding what Helium was doing, Helium's a little bit monolithic in so far as they own the blockchain, they own the tokenomics, they own the distribution mechanism, and then they own the governance framework on top of all of that. That's, that's a lot of work at the mm -hmm. end of the day. But there are millions and millions, billions, honestly, of devices across the world that should be connected, will be connected one day, but don't have the ability to put together all the resources. So we were trying to figure out how you could think about the longer tail of devices that exist in the world and how you can start getting them earning. Mm -hmm. And we were, again, fortunate enough to come across IOTEX a couple of years ago and we tracked IOTEX. We always saw that as a really interesting way to unlock the power of that data. So making use of data at the moment that it arrives and that's really enabled through IOTEX's blockchain framework is, again, another thing that we think will add to the value of the data that already exists out there.